Hi everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today's video, we are going to be packing for my trip to Paris. <laughs> and I'm really excited to go to Paris. I, I'm just going in a few short weeks, so in September, the beginning of September, and actually it's the end of August right now, so it's like really close. This is like a dream trip for me because I have always wanted to go to Paris and the south of France my whole life and so that's where we're going and this is absolutely my dream trip. It's always been number one on my list and I've never been. For some reason I've been to five out of seven continents in the world. I've traveled a lot but I've never been to France and it's crazy to me because that's always been my top place that I've always wanted to go. So, and especially recently, I have become so fascinated with French style, French culture, just everything French related, I am obsessed. So, going now, I feel like is even more special to me than it would have been in the past. And I've done so much research and just getting really, really excited about it. And I don't know, I have chills, I have chills thinking about it. I don't know. I just, I can't believe that it's really happening. <sighs> Anyways, all right. <laughs> but, okay, so here is my suitcase. So you guys are going to pack with me. And this is what I'm packing for Paris and the south of France. So this is my suitcase. It's this lovely suitcase from Bricks. And I've seen a ton of just like bloggers have this. And so I was totally influenced and I got it as well because it is beautiful. It's like this cream color with this beautiful brown leather detailing on it. And it's huge. <laughs> so it'll be enough. I need to remind myself that I actually need to leave room in the suitcase for obviously buying stuff when I'm there and bringing it back. <laughs> but anyways, this is a pretty big size. So yes, let's open it up and start packing and i actually am going to pack with you guys right now because this is i think i don't know when i'm putting this video live but right now paris is a week and a half away so i can't wait anyways all right so i really do need to actually start packing because i know if i leave this to the last second i'm gonna get really stressed and i feel like you guys would like to see this too because it's just fun so i definitely wanted to do it on camera and also I have my little laptop over here. I, in like the middle of the night one night, just made an entire list of everything that I need to pack. And I've been searching on a lot of different sites and mostly watching videos of people who actually live there and what they're wearing. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm definitely not gonna get it 100% right, but I'm gonna try to do as best that I can. So, the first thing that I'm going to pack is a pair of shoes. These are my little pink ballet flats from Laffler Randall. And I figure that these are a nice walking shoe because they are obviously really comfortable. They're a little bit more elevated than like a sneaker. <laughs> so I figured that these I could pair with a lot of the outfits that I'm bringing too, like a dress like this or the skirt, a pair of pants. I mean, anything that I'm bringing, I feel like I can use these because they also are that neutral light pink color. So, for those two reasons, those will be packed. Okay, next thing, next thing I have my, on my list is my white Reformation dress. So, we're going to be going to Paris for three or four days, and then we're going to go down to Bordeaux, do some wine tours, and then we're going to go down to Nice and take some little mini trips from Nice. So, like Paris in the city to the little wine area to then the beach town so definitely like different styles I feel like there so the next thing I have is my white reformation dress which I was thinking would be great for like Bordeaux a wine tour so this is what it looks like I've worn this in a lot of my videos it's a linen material and a little sweetheart neck uh, little spaghetti straps and it's about a midi length so I absolutely love this I get so much use out of this so I feel like this is going to be really classic and maybe I could even wear this for like if we have our dinners or anything. I feel like this is just a plain white dress is very versatile and I can already match it with those ballet flats. So we're already, already mixing and matching. Okay. <clears throat> oh, and then my bash dress. This is the one thing that I was like, I knew as soon as I bought this that I was buying this for the Paris trip. So 
This is a gorgeous little number from a store called Bash. It's like B-A and sign S-H. And it, it is a French brand, so definitely, hopefully should be okay. It's short sleeved and it's this beautiful kind of pattern there with very, very subtle sparkly things kind of thrown into it. I don't know if you can really see it on camera as much, but yeah, you can kind of see it there. It's like little sparkles. So that's cool and it is a maxi length. It goes all the way down to the floor. I actually, it's a little, a little long, so I, I will need to bring heels to wear with this. And in the back, it's kind of just like open and has these little straps here. So it's super, super, super adorable. Um, I actually got this on sale. Yes, this is like totally going to be, I think it's actually Lyle and I's five year anniversary when we're in Paris. So we are doing one night for our anniversary dinner, like a very nice dinner. So I figured that this would be my dress for that. This with a little pair of heels in a bag actually I need to I haven't even thought about my handbag situation yet but yeah so this dress the Nordstrom dress that I just got fixed which is this dress so I figure I could wear this day or night really whatever we're doing it's just a cute little dress it's from this company called AFRM and I got this from Nordstrom last summer and it's cute because it has this slit here, so it's like a little bit more, I don't know, it's just a little bit more mature, I guess, with a little slit. And it's short sleeve, so it's also like kind of covered. And it's open in the back here with um, just like a little button. So I feel like that's cute. I feel like this could be cute, like even with a pair of white sneakers during the day, just like walking around. So yeah, another like versatile piece. So far I've only packed dresses, but that's okay with me. I love dresses. A midi skirt. I'm kind of thinking a midi skirt. If I do a midi skirt, I'm gonna need to do a white. So I do have this midi skirt. This is from H&M. It's just a silk slip midi skirt. And it is pretty cute and pretty versatile. I feel like I could wear this during the day or night. So yeah, I'll bring that too, but I just need to bring the pop proper top to go with it. So I think it'll be that white button down or, or I could do it with like this top, which I also was thinking would be nice. Let me just, I'm just going to throw that on real quick. Sometimes I feel like when I'm packing, I need to actually put it on and see like, does that look the way that I have it in my head? Okay, yes, I think that I like this. It is this top, this white top also from Bash. It's like a silk and it has these like shoulder pads, which I don't love. I almost wish I could take that, that part out of it, but then it comes in as like a V in the back. And then with this bottom here, I actually really do like it because I feel like this part here also kind of covers like the belly section. So I don't really have to worry about that. I feel like this might be nice for dinner too. I don't know if like the shimmer on shimmer is a little bit too flashy for Paris. I'm not 100% sure, but you guys let me know. Um, French followers, I need your help. <laughs> Thank you guys also so much for all of the like recommendations you've been giving me so far because they have been extremely helpful. Especially one person told me about this thing called the like pass sanitaire. It's like a French health pass where it proves that you're vaccinated versus our American vaccination cards don't have a QR code on the back, which apparently a lot of the ones in the EU, EU have a QR code, but they just changed it so that Americans can apply for this one. So we tried to do that. Hopefully, hopefully that works out, but like tips like that, that, I mean, I would have never known <laughs> if, if you didn't tell me. So thank you. <laughs> okay. So going in, to the suitcase. All right, next I have my black and white polka dot dress and my brown Mary Janes. Okay, so that is this dress here, which I got in the Reformation sample sale. I feel like this dress I picture having lunch sitting outside on one of those like tables right outside the restaurant and cobblestone streets and a little, I don't know, 
like cappuccino or croissant in front of me. Ah, okay, this with, let me show you. So these are the brown leather Mary, well, do I, are, are they Mary Janes? I don't know. They're brown leather closed toe pumps with an ankle strap and a block heel. This and this together to me just seems really cute and will be really cute for pictures too. Sinkasept. Oh, so I'm not 100% sure on that one. It would be really cute though. This one, this is this this is the dress that I got from Sinkasept and it's like white sleeves, black here and then it has a little belt which is so hard to show on camera, but yeah, there you go. With a belt and it's absolutely adorable. I just don't know when I would wear this. I mean, Maybe for a dinner it would be cute. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to hold on this one. It's all on the list, so I'll think about it later. My white Bash dress. Okay, so I have another dress from Bash, which I have been holding off on wearing until this trip. It just looks like this. It's a white dress with these black, um, kind of like ribbon patterns down the front. And it's a loose fit, so it's very comfortable, and it's a short dress with long sleeves so I feel like this is just honestly like a really great go-to casual dress and I feel like I would wear this in the daytime like sightseeing that sort of thing white sneakers so I feel like I might actually at some point like when I'm there want to wear <laughs> sneakers hmm maybe when I'm traveling actually I'll probably want to wear sneakers so I have a couple pairs. I have white Adidas sneakers, which I feel like are out. And then I have my either my white Supergoss sneakers, which have a little bit of a platform on them, or I have my Vija sneakers, which are the cute little pink V. I feel like both of these are cool. They're both a little bit dirty, but uh, I'm really not sure. I'm leaning more towards the Vijas just because I feel like they're a little bit more trendy versus the super gauze. I mean, either one of them I think will look great with all of my outfits, but I feel like these are a little bit more trendy this year, so I'm going to bring them, but again, French followers, let me know which, which ones. I also put on here a trench coat because, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to need it. I mean, it might be a little bit chilly. I don't know, we're going, we're going in September, so it's kind of like, it's hard. It's it's one of those like seasons where it's not summer. I mean, it's like the very end of summer, but it's September, so it's like the beginning of fall, but the temperatures haven't dropped yet. So I'm not really sure if I need a jacket, but if I did, obviously it would be a light one. And I have this one from Sam Edelman, and it's just a classic, it's really just like a classic trench coat, and it's Scott Buttons and yeah it's just like that so i feel like maybe i'll pack that just in case i feel like i definitely won't need it in the south of france because i know that it's warmer there but maybe actually in paris i think i'll put it in my suitcase just to see and then if i don't have enough room maybe take it out but it's hard to say hard saying not knowing oh and then red lipstick so i have two red lipsticks that i love and this is totally inspired by Violet FR. I'm going to bring all of her makeup with me, of course, but I feel like I've heard a lot and I've seen on a lot of like French beauty videos that the red lip is very kind of like, I don't know, just like as you, as a woman, it makes you feel kind of like a little bit like you have power. Um, I don't know, it just makes you feel powerful a little bit. So I have this one, of course, from Violet FR, the Petal Bouche, which is more of a deep velvety, almost like black red. And then I have this one from Sephora. This is Sephora Always Red. And on my fair skin tone, this pops a little bit more. It looks just a little bit better on me and it's more of an orangey red. So I think depending on the situation, I'm gonna bring both of these. I'm gonna do all of my makeup packing separately, but I'm like, for sure, I gotta bring some red lipstick. That's cool. Okay, and then I put my white button down because, where is the white button? Oh, I put it over here. So yeah, so I feel like a white button down is just a really classic easy. I could do this with the midi skirt if I change my mind on the top. Or also I was thinking about potentially wearing this on the plane because what I was thinking of pairing it with is this pair of pants from Zara. 
they're just like a I guess more of like a grayish pink and they're like a drawstring pant so um, and they're just kind of like a short length so I figured this with the sneakers and that way I don't have to have the sneakers heavy in my suitcase with just like this top I don't know how comfortable that'll be though but I feel like that is a good kind of like chic comfy but still a little bit elevated travel outfit that'll be my travel outfit so actually I'm gonna leave that out okay I also put on my list a pair of jeans which also I feel like I could pair with that white white button down top and I've been trying to look actually for just like a good pair of jeans I do have a pair from Reformation but they're ripped and I just don't know if that's like okay I feel like I feel like maybe it's okay I'm really not 100% sure and then my other pair of jeans are like such a light wash and I feel like that's not really cool I think maybe I'll bring my white jeans these ones I just don't know if since it's in September like in the U in the US there's this like un unspoken kind of like fashion rule to adhere to which is no white after Labor Day and Labor Day is the like the first Monday in September which is like right when we're going so I don't know if that's the same thing in other countries if it's like not cool to wear white in September but I'm gonna pack them just in case because I feel like for me I wear white all year round I don't really pay attention to that so if I'm gonna wear a pair of jeans probably gonna be the white ones so I'm gonna pack that all right I also thought about this sweater dress again I'm not sure if it's going to be a little bit chilly any days in Paris or not but if it is I feel like this is like the perfect kind of in between because it's a little short dress it's like a shift shape it's got a little collar there and it's like a warm kind of knit material so if it is a little bit chilly say if it's I don't know raining or something I feel like this would be good so I'm going to bring that I don't know I'm gonna take a chance it's a little heavy though is the only thing but I don't know put it in there for now and then maybe once it gets closer we'll see <laughs> what the weather app says the temperatures are looking like and maybe I'll take it out all right and then I also thought for maybe like Bordeaux or south of France so any of my other white dresses so I have a lot of white dresses I have a white dress in pretty much every shape I have like this one that has like sh white short sleeves I have this one that's just like a little baby doll shape with the little ruffled straps I have this long or shorter sleeve one from Reformation oh gosh the list actually this could be kind of really cute hold up I have this one from pepper mayo which I would need to like bring the right kind of like sticky bra situation with it but it's actually really cute and I haven't gotten a lot of use out of it it has like a crisscross in the back and then it comes together in a big bow I think I'm definitely gonna bring this because I feel like for pictures it would be real stinking cute so I'm deaf 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 bringing that okay I also have this dress which I got for like during my fall shopping this past year from Zara and I figured that this would be a cute like dinner date dress it's a dark floral pattern and it has a little tie right here um yeah it just like comes in at the waist and it's long and it has a little slit so once it's on it's actually really cute and it has these long sleeves so I feel like for dinner or drinks or something just for like nighttime I feel like this would be really cute and it's super super lightweight and doesn't really wrinkle so this is great for traveling I think I'm for sure gonna bring this one and then next I put on my list to bring some gold jewelry so I'm going to bring these gold hoops that I'm wearing now because I feel like they're just very simple kind of can match with anything and gold jewelry I feel like is kind of in and then I also have this necklace from Majuri and it just kind of looks like that on it's just like a little sparkle a little like pop and I feel like that's really pretty so very simple and can match with any of these and then I'm also going to bring just as like a statement earring these little pearl ones these are also from Majuri 
they just look like that and I feel like they're cute so yes I will bring those too okay and I also just got this little sweater t-shirt thing from Banana Republic and close up it just looks like that it's really kind of nice and I feel like with the white jeans that would be really cute but again like I said I'm not sure if it's gonna be too hot for this so I'm not 100% sure on that one, but I don't know. I feel like it's nice. I'm gonna pack it for now. For hair accessories, I think I'm going to bring some claw clips and hair ribbons. So I have these two claw clips. There is this one here, which I just got from, I think, Free People. And it's just a really simple claw clip. This is like my favorite, and I use it all the time. And then I also have this gold one, which is nice, very kind of like simple, minimal sort of style, and also goes with a lot. I figured it would be cute to have like a little ribbon, so I have this one from Dior that I got when I got my Dior hair clip. And then I also have this one here, which is from Love Shack Fancy, and it's more of like a hanky. So, you know, if you do your hair in like, I don't know, a little ponytail or something it just looks nice so yes going to bring those and then another pair of shoes I think I'm also going to bring these wedges because especially if there are like cobblestone streets actual heels I feel like would get stuck <laughs> so these are would be good easier to walk on that they're also more comfortable and I need a pair of heels to wear that bash dress because I or else I'll be stepping on it as I walk and I also feel like these go with a lot of the other dresses that I packed as well, like the white dresses and every other dress, so yes. I also recently got this outfit from Cezanne. It's this Victorian style top and these like orange leather shorts, which is really cute. And I feel like for the time of year, it might be nice, but again, just the fact that this is leather and leather gets really hot and the fact that this is long sleeve I'm not a hundred percent sure on that so I feel like I'm going to put it in here for now but really just I don't know kind of think about it and see what the weather is seeming like once it gets a little bit closer and then I'm kind of struggling to figure out which tote bag to bring with me for all carrying all of my stuff that I need on the plane and then if I need another bag, just kind of, I don't know, do stuff with. I have this brown leather bag from Madewell that I've had so long. I think since like 2012 or like 2013. I've had it for years and years. Brown leather like this, it's just that like it's gotten ruined. Like as you can see on the bottom there, like I spilt something on the bottom of this. So I'm not really 100% sure i feel like maybe i need to go tote bag shopping <laughs> yeah i need to think about that one because otherwise if i don't bring something like this i'm gonna have to bring a backpack and look like a loser <laughs> i don't know not like a loser I feel like, the hard thing is i feel like backpacks are so much more practical when traveling because you can put that on your back and then you're holding on to your suitcase and like you're good but it just makes you look so like touristy and i feel like tote bags or like shoulder bags are more fashion forward so I don't know I gotta figure that one out and also I need to figure out which handbags I'm bringing with me that's kind of exciting at least I'll probably bring one of these two bags this one is obviously my YSL bag it's a little bit more I guess fancy so maybe it would be nice to bring to dinner with my pretty dresses and then this one is i feel like more daytime casual it's a camera bag from chanel and i feel like this one would also go with a lot of my outfits during the day so definitely a tough call but also i don't want to be like robbed either so i'm also like i don't want to bring flashy things oh, i do not know i think other than that that's pretty much it obviously i'll have to figure out all of my like skincare and makeup products. I'm going to need to, I think, get some like little small containers for things. So actually I should probably figure that out now if I need to order anything on Amazon. But, and then I might just also kind of like 
you know, see if there's anything else I need to bring. I'll need to pack all of my brushes, my pajamas, I'll do separately, like bras, underwear, socks, <laughs> that sort of thing you guys don't need to see. And then all of my like, my hair products, like my brushes, I'll probably bring my GHD Glide with me, or my power adapters, all of my chargers, all of that stuff I will do. But this is kind of like more of the overall kind of creative thinking about different locations I'm going to. Um, only other thing I haven't figured out, I guess, is what I'm going to wear when we visit Versailles, because to me, Versailles is just like total like princess vibes, and I really want to see if I can get some good pictures in there. So I want to wear something fabulous when we go to Versailles and just like live my pretend princess life. I don't know. I kind of was thinking like something like this. I could get in like you know this is obviously like a pink dress it's like long I could like get a pretty picture of just like almost like running away in this and just like almost like the picture that I have of my gallery wall but then again this is kind of like cheaply made it's from Amazon so I'm also like I feel like it's not nice enough I don't know um, so maybe that but I'm gonna keep just kind of looking at my closet and seeing what would work best but again let me know any of your recommendations even if you're not french if you've just have visited paris or the south of france or french in general before and you have any recommendations let me know because i'm a total newbie here but i am so excited and when i come back i am totally will be making videos of like things that i bought there and like maybe like a style analysis or something so I just really can't wait and I can't wait to do the also show you guys the vlog from there as well so yeah I think that's pretty much it so thank you so much for watching this video definitely subscribe for more videos like this and more of the Paris content that is to come and oh follow me on Instagram <laughs> as well it's the fashion squirrel and that's about it. So hopefully I will see you guys next time. Okay. Bye.